Friday evening. Twenty years ago, I used to say living for the weekend. Friday roll around, I'd go out partying. Be broke the next day doing stupid stuff. I want to see bands like Leslie West, Mountain, remember Mountain? Mississippi Queen, you know what I mean. Boy, things have changed. Now it's um, retired. Or no, then I went to, um, thank God it's Friday. People say that all the time when Friday rolls around. Yay, oh, it's Friday, I'm off for two days. No, Friday rolls around, I'm retired. I don't even know what day it is half the time. I don't actually care. Unless we have an appointment or something, or my wife does, or my son. But it's Friday, I'm, I've been told. And, uh, yeah, that's right, son. My son's chilling in this little swimming pool right next to me. It's been like 98 degrees the past two weeks here in Texas, 100 sometimes. 105 degrees. My wife thinks it's hotter here in the Philippines. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all good. She got her, uh, we got a belt, maternity belt. Helps hold her belly up, especially with this baby down low. And uh, when she's done with it, I can use it on my belly from a weight lift. <laughs> two in one, two in one uh, thing. What? You think the weather's hotter here, honey? It's, it's, yeah, it's really hot in here. Looks like she's carrying a little one, too. Yeah, it's because I'm pregnant. Here, so. But yeah. in the Philippines, it's hot, but there's where I live, there's many trees. Yeah, there's not much for trees here. Yeah, you're like... At least southern part of Texas here. It's 105 degrees more than that one, I guess. We went out twice today. We went to... Uh, grocery shopping. HEB, grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Then we went, came home, went back to Walmart to get some maternity bill. I had to go and buy and check our insurance to get, uh, you know, the breast pumps and stuff. And, they're gonna ship those to us for free, and this belt was like eight dollars ninety four cents. That's cheap. But uh, it said eight ninety four in the sign, but seventeen dollars when you scanned it. But they gave it to us for eight ninety four. Shout out to good old Walmart. You hear that splashing? That's my son. He's just enjoying himself here in the pool. Looks like they cut the grass here in the property again, which is cool. But, uh, you know. yeah, so anyways, uh, supposed to be speaking about a company, they want me uh, to advertise on this channel, I just haven't done it yet, I want to make sure they're legitimate, and uh, I've said before, past couple of vlogs, YouTube's not pushing out the content like they were two weeks ago, I don't know, that's weird. Even when you post all the time, you find the tricks out and everything else. Careful. You know, I'm still a small channel, working on getting 4,000 subscribers. And, you know, I get a subscriber pretty much every day. Watch your head. Don't put your head on the grill there, silly. It's not lit, but, you know. I had a thunderstorm the other night, and that same night up in, uh, can't think of the name of the city. North Texas, they had bad tornado. Prayers out to those folks. Four people died, and it's just difficult. And uh, praying for our country that politicians will do the right thing. They seem to be on the right track right now. The hospital, I don't know, we'll see. Whatever. Pray for your leaders, it says. So that's what they do. Shout out to all the expats living over in the Philippines. Uh, the gentleman just passed away there. He had some complications that they couldn't get him to the correct hospital on time. He died trying to get where he needed to go when he had insurance. It's difficult. I can't say I'm too happy with the insurance here in Texas at the moment. Here in Massachusetts, we just got things done. My wife was pregnant last time here. You got to research, you got to get on the phone, you got to wait on hold, you got to call 211. It's just ridiculous. 
Most of them might have been in the Philippines. It's the Philippines, you need money, and hopefully the doctor's there when you get to the hospital. But anyways, here goes the neighborhood dog. This is our kind of a watchdog here. He barks at night when people come too close to the house. And then they have the solar lights that light up if somebody walks close. And my little camera. But uh, my son's just talking away here. Babe, you doing okay? Okay, honey. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to post this video. I wasn't going to vlog nothing today. Like I said, not get many views. And you think hard. You come up with a topic that's getting a lot of views. The age gap thing got 4,000 views. Did pretty good last month. This month going to be a little different. So. I love you, Mama. My son loves you. He says, loves you. All right, guys, enjoy your weekend, and uh, got church coming up Sunday. Uh, there was a church here giving away a lot of snacks and cupcakes the other day, and we went over there. All kinds of cookies and stuff, everything I'm not supposed to be eating. But I ate a couple of chocolate chips, you know. I'm here for my wife and my son. My wife don't really eat sweets, a little bit here and there. But, uh... And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you, Amping. Shout out to the live streams. I, I stop in. A uh, gentleman <laughs> speaking to Tagalog the other day. He was laughing because he questions our channel because of the name and wanted to know where we live and stuff. And I said he was getting the old nosebleed from trying to speak English. I heard that many times in Wukitnan. Uh, <laughs> we got our tattoos. And like, this is, says Love's Alone. It's worth the fight and uh, a little bit of Jessica on my mind. And uh, we'll get more tattoos when we go back. They're so cheap, 20 bucks to pay for one of these. My wife got hers. Uh, how much you pay for that uh, tattoo, honey, with Elijah? This one is 1,000. Yeah, 1,000 pesos. Here it costs $350. It's crazy. But we're just in having bills. Yeah, now she needs another one because baby girl. We, uh, I managed to find car insurance. I mentioned before another vlog. Uh, you pay by the mile, they don't have it everywhere. You should have it on the East Coast. Take a picture of your odometer, send it in each month. Charge it per mile. I was paying almost $200 a month. No, I'm not. What's that? That's a lot of money. That's a That's cool. There's some things cheaper here. Gas is cheaper here than the East Coast. Definitely cheaper in California. Oh, there goes the vacuum cleaner, guys. Peace out. I'm Claude and Jessica living in the Philippines. Currently in Texas. Like my wife said. Have a great weekend.